Have you ever wondered about the existence of the Anunnakis, the supposed ancient astronauts, or are they just a myth? Welcome to the enigma that is the Anunnakis. This intriguing and controversial topic has its roots deeply embedded in Sumerian mythology. The Anunnakis, as per the ancient texts, were deities hailing from the world's oldest civilization, Sumer, located in southern Mesopotamia, now modern-day Iraq. These deities were said to have descended from the sky and were often depicted as beings of immense power and wisdom. The controversy surrounding the Anunnakis is as old as the civilization itself. The interpretation of these ancient texts has led to two main schools of thought. One, a group of believers who argue that these deities were in fact ancient astronauts, visitors from another world who brought advanced knowledge and technology to the early human civilizations. The proponents of this theory argue that the descriptions of the Anunnakis and their feats are too advanced for the time, hinting at extraterrestrial origins. They often point to the Sumerians' advanced understanding of astronomy and their detailed creation myths as evidence of extraterrestrial influence. On the other hand, there are those who regard the Anunnakis as nothing more than myth, a product of ancient Sumerians' rich and vibrant imagination. They argue that the Anunnakis were simply gods in the Sumerian pantheon, and their stories are metaphors and myths, not historical or scientific facts. These two opposing views have sparked countless debates, with both sides presenting compelling arguments and interpretations. The Anunnakis, whether ancient astronauts or myth, have captivated the attention of scholars, historians, and enthusiasts for centuries. Whatever your stance, the Anunnakis have intrigued scholars and enthusiasts alike for centuries. As we delve deeper into this topic, we invite you to keep an open mind, question everything, and form your own opinions. After all, the mysteries of our past are often the keys to our future. To understand the Anunnakis, we must journey back in time to ancient Sumer, the cradle of civilization. Here, nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the Sumerians crafted one of the world's earliest civilizations. They left behind a rich tapestry of culture and lore, including the oldest known references to the Anunnakis. The Anunnakis first appear in Sumerian texts dating back to the third millennium BCE. These gods and goddesses occupied the highest echelons of the Sumerian pantheon, revered for their divine wisdom and power. They were not gods of the sun or the sky, but rather they were associated with the underworld, the realm of mystery and the afterlife. The term Anunnaki itself is Sumerian, roughly translating to those of royal blood or princely offspring. This is suggestive of their prestigious status and significant role in Sumerian mythology. The Sumerians believed the Anunnakis were the offspring of An, the sky god, and his consort Ki, the earth goddess. The Sumerians depicted the Anunnakis as divine judges who determined the fates of humanity and the gods alike. They held the Mi, divine decrees that constituted the foundation of civilization, including everything from religious rituals to social norms. The Anunnakis were believed to descend to the earth on special occasions, to dispense justice and shape the course of human history. In the epic poem Enuma Elis, a creation myth of ancient Mesopotamia, the Anunnakis are mentioned as the gods who rebelled against their leader, leading to a cosmic battle that shaped the universe as we know it. This tale, like many others, underscores the Anunnaki's pivotal role in shaping Sumerian mythology and belief. So the Anunnakis were not mere figments of imagination. They were deities with defined roles, personalities, and narratives deeply woven into the fabric of Sumerian society. These texts provide our first glimpse into the world of the Anunnakis, but they are just the beginning. The Anunnakis were not confined to Sumerian culture alone. They also found their way into Akkadian and Babylonian mythology. Our journey takes us next to the Akkadian Empire, which rose to prominence following the decline of Sumer. The Akkadians, like their Sumerian predecessors, incorporated the Anunnakis into their pantheon. Yet they brought their own interpretations to these celestial beings. In Akkadian texts, the Anunnakis were often associated with the underworld and seen as judges of the dead. Their role expanded beyond the creation of the world and humanity. They now held sway over life after death. A similar trend continued in Babylonian mythology. The Babylonians, having inherited the mythologies of both the Sumerians and the Akkadians, 
further evolved the narrative of the Anunnakis. The Anunnakis were still divine beings, but their characteristics and roles varied greatly. Some texts portrayed them as benevolent deities, granting kingship and wisdom, while others depicted them as malevolent forces, causing chaos and destruction. Yet the common thread across all these cultures was the reverence for the Anunnakis. They were seen as beings of immense power and wisdom, influencing the course of human history and civilization. The Anunnakis were not simply mythic figures, they were integral to the spiritual and socio-political fabric of these ancient societies. The transition of the Anunnakis from Sumerian to Akkadian to Babylonian mythology is a testament to their enduring appeal. These shifts in portrayal reflect the dynamic nature of mythology, adapting and evolving to suit the needs and perspectives of different cultures. Moreover, they also underscore the complexity of the Anunnakis themselves, who were not static characters but multifaceted entities whose narratives intertwine with the rise and fall of civilizations. The shifting portrayal of the Anunnakis in different cultures adds another layer of complexity to their mystery. As we delve deeper into their lore, we find that the Anunnakis were not just ancient astronauts or mythic figures. They were a mirror to the societies that revered them, reflecting their fears, hopes, and understanding of the cosmos. Now, let's delve into the theory that has sparked the most debate, the Anunnakis as ancient astronauts. The ancient astronaut theory is a concept that refuses to be relegated to the annals of fringe science. The proponents of this theory believe that the gods or deities described in ancient myths weren't metaphorical or mythical beings, but extraterrestrial visitors. Yes, you heard right, aliens. They argue that these gods were technologically advanced beings from far-flung corners of the universe who visited Earth and shaped human civilization as we know it. One of the most prominent supporters of this theory was Zechariah Sitchin, a controversial figure in his own right. Sitchin was a Russian-born American author, best known for his interpretations of ancient Sumerian texts. He claimed that these texts told of an extraterrestrial race, the Anunnakis, who came to Earth from a supposed planet beyond Neptune called Nibiru. To Sitchin, the Anunnakis were no mere myth. They were flesh and blood beings with advanced knowledge and technology. He asserted that they engineered the human race and imparted their knowledge, leading to a rapid leap in civilization during the Sumerian era. What's more, Sitchin and his followers present physical evidence to support these claims. They point to the architectural marvels of the ancient world, such as the pyramids of Egypt or the ziggurats of Mesopotamia. They argue these structures are too complex and precise to have been built by the primitive tools and knowledge of the time. Instead, they propose these monumental feats were accomplished with the help of extraterrestrial technology. Similar arguments are made about certain artifacts, like the Antikythera mechanism, often dubbed as the world's first computer. Discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece, this ancient device displays a level of mechanical sophistication that was seemingly way ahead of its time. While fascinating, this theory is not without its critics. This is an intriguing perspective, to say the least. Yet, it's important to remember that the ancient astronaut theory and its application to the Anunnakis remains a topic of intense debate and skepticism among mainstream scholars. Contrary to the ancient astronaut theory, many scholars argue that the Anunnakis are purely mythological. This line of thought asserts that these so-called celestial beings were nothing more than figments of ancient imaginations, woven into the fabric of early society's folklore and mythology. The ancient astronaut theory, as popularized by the likes of Zechariah Sitchin, suggests that the Anunnakis were not deities, but extraterrestrial beings who visited Earth thousands of years ago. However, the mainstream academic community largely refutes Sitchin's interpretations of ancient texts. They argue that his translations of Sumerian cuneiform tablets are not only incorrect, but also misleading leading to a sensationalized narrative that deviates from established historical and archaeological evidence. Critics of the ancient astronaut theory also point out the lack of solid scientific backing. The theory, they say, relies heavily on conjecture and misinterpretation of ancient texts and symbols. A fundamental principle of scientific inquiry is that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And in the case of the Anunnakis being ancient astronauts, such evidence is sorely lacking. Moreover, 
They argue that the theory is rooted in a misunderstanding of ancient cultures and their capacity for architectural and technological achievements. It's suggested that this perspective underestimates the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors, attributing their accomplishments to extraterrestrial intervention rather than human innovation. Additionally, there's the issue of Occam's razor, a philosophical principle suggesting that the simplest explanation is often the most likely. The existence of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations visiting Earth in ancient times, while exciting, is a far more complex explanation than the Anunnaki's being part of ancient mythology, created by humans to explain natural phenomena and the mysteries of the cosmos. Despite these criticisms, the ancient astronaut theory continues to captivate the imagination of many, leading to ongoing debates and discussions. The existence of the Anunnaki's, as either divine entities or ancient astronauts, remains a mystery that continues to intrigue scholars and enthusiasts alike. But one thing is certain, the debate surrounding the Anunnaki's is far from settled. Despite the controversy, the Anunnaki's have left an indelible mark on popular culture. Their influence is far-reaching, permeating various forms of media and genres. From the silver screen to the printed page, these mythical beings have made their presence known and have become a staple of science fiction and conspiracy theories. Let's start with the movies. The Anunnaki's have served as inspiration for countless films. These range from epic space operas where they are portrayed as ancient, powerful beings influencing the course of entire civilizations, to horror flicks where they are depicted as terrifying otherworldly entities. Turning the page to literature, we see the Anunnaki's taking center stage in numerous books. They are often portrayed as the puppet masters behind world events, their hidden hands pulling the strings of history. In science fiction novels, they are frequently depicted as advanced extraterrestrial beings who have bestowed knowledge upon humanity, while in the realm of conspiracy theory literature, they are often cast as secret rulers of the world. On the small screen, the Anunnaki's have been featured in numerous TV shows. In science fiction series, they often appear as ancient aliens with superior technology and wisdom. Meanwhile, in conspiracy theory-based programs, they are presented as the shadowy overlords of our world. The Anunnaki's have even infiltrated the world of video games, appearing as formidable foes or wise guides. Their influence also extends to music, with songs and albums inspired by their mythology, and even to fashion, with designs and motifs echoing their iconography. In essence, the Anunnaki's have become a cultural phenomenon. Their enigmatic nature and the mystery surrounding their existence have fueled our collective imagination, leading to their widespread presence in our popular culture. Whether they were ancient astronauts or myth, the Anunnaki's have captured our imagination, their enduring influence is a testament to the power of storytelling and the human fascination with the unknown. Regardless of the truth of their existence, the Anunnaki's have indeed left a lasting legacy in our culture. The Anunnaki's, ancient astronauts, myth, or something else entirely? The answer remains elusive. We embarked on this journey together, exploring the enigma of the Anunnaki's, navigating through the earliest references and diving deep into Akkadian and Babylonian mythology. We've discovered a fascinating narrative filled with celestial beings and ancient tales. But the question looms, were these Anunnaki's ancient astronauts visiting Earth from a distant galaxy, as some theories suggest? We examined this hypothesis, looking into the details of the ancient astronaut theory and found its foundations shaky at best. With no clear empirical evidence to back it up, we were left with questions more than answers. Yet we cannot dismiss the influence these enigmatic beings have had on our world. Even if we debunk the ancient astronaut theory, it's evident that the Anunnaki's have left a lasting footprint on our collective consciousness. They've transformed from mythical figures to pop culture icons inspiring books, movies, and even video games. Their stories have transcended time and continue to captivate our imagination. The ongoing debate about the Anunnaki's is a testament to our insatiable curiosity as a species. We crave to understand our origins, and when we encounter something as enigmatic as the Anunnaki's, we can't help but probe deeper. This is what makes the study of ancient cultures so fascinating. It's a window into our past, a mirror reflecting our present, and a lens focusing on our future. As we conclude this exploration, let's remember that our understanding of the Anunnaki's is far from complete. The need for further research is evident. 
With every new archaeological discovery, with every ancient text translated, we get one step closer to unveiling the truth. The Anunnaki's continue to be an enigma, a tantalizing mystery waiting to be solved. As we continue to explore our past, perhaps one day we will finally unravel the mystery of the Anunnaki's.